How's it going guys? It's Root Junkie here and in today's video we're going to be talking about the HTC 10, this device right here. And what we're going to be doing in the video is showing you guys how to root it. So to get root access, the first thing you have to do is go ahead and get an unlocked bootloader using htcdev.com. I have a video on that process and I'll link it to you in the video description down below. So if you haven't done that, go do that and then come back to this video on how to root this device. So what we're going to do today is we're going to install Torp Recovery and we're going to get root access on the HTC 10. So uh, make sure you obviously have developer options turned on, OEM unlock, you'll see that in the previous video, USB debugging enabled and so on. You should, if you've unlocked the bootloader, you should have your drivers functioning on your device or on your computer by now. So we're going to go ahead and plug in the cable here. Get that plugged in. There we go. Uh, yes for that and we may see a pop-up on here to allow ADB debugging we may not let's see what happens on it but for right now we're good here let's go over to the computer and let's run some commands to get this job done alright guys so here is the process we're gonna be following today this is by J case this is root guide uh, optional s off if you want to pay for a sunshine application and get s off as well you can but basically we're gonna be following these steps now the first step is like I said unlocking the bootloader which I already made a video on. So the next step is going to be getting Torp Recovery, downloading all the files that you're going to need. So you can, I'll link you to this thread right here um, and download everything you got here and I'll show you some other things to download as well. And then um, you're also going to want to read this. This is a special SuperSue zip that works with force encryption. It keeps it, okay? I'll link you both these two XDA threads. You're definitely going to want to read through both of them and download all the files that you need. So I'm going to show you what I've got. So here's one file that I have. There's the Force Encrypt zip uh, for SuperSue. Here is the Torp Recovery image for the HTC 10. And then you're going to need to have your ADB and Fastboot files. Again, if you've done the unlock bootloader process, you'll have these set up already. Definitely check that video out. All links will be in the video description down below. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to hold shift, right click, open command window here. This is going to open a command window and we're going to type some things to our device and see if we can get it to communicate correctly. So we're going to first do ADB devices, hit enter, and we should get our prompt over here, allow USB debugging. If you haven't done this before, that should come up and hit always and okay. Then we'll do it again and then you see it was unauthorized and now it is authorized and says device in the command window here. So that's a good sign. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to reboot into download mode. So ADB reboot download should put us in download mode. So for some reason on this device, mm -hmm. download mode is where fastboot commands function and a boot or bootloader, what I would call bootloader, it doesn't, which is just weird. I don't know why that is, but it is kind of what it is. Mm -hmm. So here you can see we're in download mode. So to make sure your drivers are working here, type in fast boot devices. And again, it should say the same uh, serial number and say fast boot. All right, so from here, we're going to flash twerp recovery. So to do that, I gotta go back to the file where my twerp recovery image is. And we're gonna type in fast boot flash recovery space and then just drag the twerp image into we'll just drag it into the command window here let go and then hit enter and that's going to flash yep there you go you can see it's flashing recovery and it's okay so that's interesting it's interesting in download mode there's actually some status here um, not seen that before myself so just a little interesting. Um, and then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to send another command to reboot into bootloader mode. So fast boot reboot um, dash bootloader. So fast boot reboot dash bootloader and hit enter on that one. Reboot boot loader let's try it again there we go must have mistyped it the first time and now we're in bootloader mode so 
Um, at this point, it's really critical that you have an SD card installed. I have a 16 gig SD card, probably 32 be even better. Um, we're going to make some backups, and it's really critical to have these in case uh, something messes up on your device. So from here on the phone, we're going to just scroll down and select boot to recovery. So um, you s scroll with volume up and down and then hit power to select it. So boot to recovery mode. This is going to boot up Twerp Recovery or Team Win Recovery Project, which is really awesome. All right, so it says to enter your password for data encryption. Let's hit cancel. And then we're just going to go ahead and hit um, keep read only. And we're going to do our backups. So we'll go here. And this time it's very important. So we're going to back up system. We're going to back up system image. You have to back up system image. It's a super critical backup. Cache recovery android secure and then just don't back up data we don't need to back that up at this point um, this will be a full backup without your data so i'm going to go ahead and, and uh first of all let's see let's make that options no i want to do backup location select storage yeah micro sd card 16 gigs yep that's the one i want so okay everything looks good this is going to be about a seven gig backup so make sure at least to have an eight gig sd card in there so i'm going to swipe across to create the backup well this backup has taken about 10 minutes so far and while it was doing that i went ahead and did some research on why it failed to decrypt data and basically twerp can't decrypt data on htc 10 at this point um, because of the way that htc is encrypting the data um, that's blocking things up and causing issues with the decrypting of it. So um, it's not a big deal. That's why we didn't back it up because it wouldn't help us anyway. Uh, I did see an excellent, excellent post um, on the Torp Recovery uh, page on XDA under Frequently Asked Questions. You need to read through that because it is very, very helpful explaining um, why that's happening and how to deal with that. Also, if you decrypt data on the system image or on decrypt data on the device by wiping it, you can um, disable your radio so then your cell signal stops working, um, which is why we have that system image backup, which I'm generating an MD5 sum as we speak of. So, um, not to worry, that's why I canceled the encryption code password it asked for. Um, that's why I swiped and did, left it read only so we could get the best stock backup we could possibly get and right now as soon as it finishes generating this md5 sum this process should wrap up here in another couple minutes all right guys you can see the backup is complete we do not want to reboot the system now we just want to go back um, and hit home and then we want to reboot to bootloader so let's do reboot to bootloader and that should boot us back into bootloader mode on the device one more time there we go and then we're gonna come in here and we're gonna scroll back down to boot to recovery mode again all right so it should be uh, booting up this time we're actually going to um, modify the device now that we have a good clean backup so again hit cancel for the decryption um, very good and then this time we're gonna go in here and do advanced and we're gonna do ADB sideload and it says wipe Delvic and cache or swipe to start sideload so I'm gonna go ahead and we're not gonna do wipe data or wipe Delvic or cache we're just gonna swipe to sideload and now it's in sideload mode so let's go back to the computer and run some more commands so now we're going to sideload a file. So to test this, ADB devices should come back with the serial number and say sideload, like it does. And then we're going to type in ADB sideload. And then we're going to drag the uh, force encryption v2 zip into the window down here. So there we go. So ADB sideload space, drag the zip in. 
hit enter. And that's going to go ahead and side load, as you can see down here, the root zip for Super SU, or Super SU, however you want to call it. Um, so we're just going to wait for that to go through. Looks like the screen went dark there. So unlock it before we can see again. It's interesting. It's patching some stuff. It's creating a backup. Uh, different things are happening here. This is, like I said, edited. Um, an edited Super U zip so that it works better with our force encryption on the HTC 10. Now, you could just copy this over to the SD card and then flash it that way without sideloading it from the computer, but mm -hmm. it's kind of a good thing to learn how to do. So, kind of cool. All right, and then lastly, we're just going to reboot system. And we should be done on the computer as well. And we'll just wait for this bad boy to boot up. All right, as you can see, it has fully booted up at this point. So, let's just swipe to unlock it and go and see if we have Super SU. There it is. And we'll click on that. And if you hit no thank you, if it doesn't give you a prompt saying you need to update the suit binaries or some craziness saying you don't have root access or just force closes on you, you have root access. We could download root checker um, and check it that way, but I know if you get to that point, you have root and you're good to go. We could test it, I guess, really quickly um, just for the fun of it. I'll test um, ADB root access on it just to show you. So we'll hit yes to clear that out. And I'm just going to open a new command window on my computer really quick, and we'll test root access this way. ADB shell, and then we'll type su to get root, and we should get our prompt. There it is. So just go ahead and grant it, and shabam, we have root access with ADB shell. So that's it. That is the process. That is root access on the HTC 10. Again, highly, highly recommend that you read these three posts. I'm going to link in the video description down below to get a full understanding of the data encryption issue and possible losing of your cell signal. I don't have cell signal up here because I don't have a SIM in it right now. Um, the way we did it, you shouldn't lose your cell signal. But if you, because of the way stock system works and the way they encrypt it, um, you can lose it if you decrypt the stock system. You'll lose your cell, which we didn't do because of the way we rooted it. But just wanted to let you know about it. Read those posts. Try to get a full comprehension of them. Um, look at all the links in the video description down below to download all the files that you're going to need. And that's going to wrap it up for me. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video here on the HTC 10. Stay tuned for more videos on this device. And we'll catch you guys in the next one. Root Junkie out.